guys, I am back with my beautiful wife. She oh. is going to be helping me out today. Actually, she's going to be doing this video since she did such a great job with the Sandman statue. Oh. Yes, thank you. As you can see, we have a couple big boxes here. I already took it out of the box, so it would be a surprise to her. I thought yeah. it'd be more interesting if you didn't know what the heck you were talking about. What? I have a video I need to edit in the other room, so I'm just going to leave it to you. You're going to desert me? You're going to leave me? You did pretty good last time. You only broke a couple things. I did not. There's a few firsts here. Uh, for one, this is your first one-third scale statue. What the heck is that? So it just means it's bigger than the other one. Oh. Hopefully you can lift things out of here. We went to the gym today and did biceps. She picked up the 45 pound barbell today. Yeah. Did a few reps with that. So uh, I think you should be able to handle this. If we'll not, see. I'll be in the other room. You can call me and uh, I'll be mad, but I'll help you out. You'll be mad. I peeked at the contents a little bit. So you're gonna start with the big one on the bottom and then okay. open this second. Wow. So I'll help you move this out of the way. Yeah, get to it. Okay, you're gonna need this thing too. So. What? What do I do with that? You're gonna put it on here. So you got your first box here. We got the turntable out. Any All questions? Right. Uh, no. There are instructions, but you don't get them. What? Why? <laughs> Just try your best. And most importantly, I... don't break anything. Don't break anything. No pressure. Okay, so he's leaving. Good, goodbye. Get out, sayonara. All right, so I'm just giving it a little cut around. All right, I think I got it. Oh, wow. Oh my, okay. Let's get rid of this top. Got some body parts here. Let's see, let's see. Where should I start? This is probably the base, I'm guessing. I see a bunch of skull heads and <gasps> it looks like a snake. Ew, yuck. Let's see here. Oh. Oh my. Oh wow. This is gonna be a workout. I think it weighs more than me. Pull apart this styrofoam that's in my way. What if I break it? I'm so nervous. Okay, okay. Oh my god. This is heavy. What in the world? Wow. Okay. What is this? Looks like. I'm thinking a snake. Let's see what else we got. Oh. Yeah. It's kind of stuck there. Okay. This is also very heavy, but not as bad as the base. And I'm guessing this is going to stick into the base. Oh, hello. Naked woman coming through. <laughs> Wow, I, I don't know what to say about this. I'm really kind of embarrassed. Oh, here's some foam on top. I think we're gonna have to remove that foam. Aha. Okay, I think she fits in the very top here. She's got some nice boots, furry fur-lined boots. Very, very nice. I think I like those, but she's got some blood on her. So maybe this thing, whatever it may be, is attacking it, attacking her, or she's attacking it. I'm not quite sure. She's gonna go this way. And like that. So let's turn her around so we don't get demonetized. Oh my, now I get to stare at her butt. Okay, thank you. Why does she have a hole in her butt? DT! What? I don't think she's gonna fit. We need to move the camera. She's gonna be really, really tall. So I'm gonna pick up some more pieces. I'm not quite sure what this is or where it goes, but it kind of matches her bikini top. She has some cutouts here. It's like a little square peg that we need to stick somewhere and see if that fits. Yep, there we go. Yeah, cover that thing up. Ooh, what's this? It's so pretty. It doesn't quite fit in too well. There, okay. So there must be another one somewhere. Okay, I'm dying to see what her head looks like. <laughs> right now she's the headless, armless woman. We've got some uh, fancy gear here. I'm not quite sure where this goes yet, so we'll leave that there. And that is it for this box. Okay. Next box. That didn't sound good. 
All right, we're in business. Okay, where should I start? Maybe this big piece here. Um, looks like a tail. More scales. Okay, so probably here. Ha, there we go. The end of the tail. Ooh, it's the head. <gasps> there's two. Double, oh yeah, there's like multiple snakes here. Okay, this is creepy. It's definitely snake woman. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> oh wow. That is frightening. Seriously? All right, you go here. It's gonna bite her butt. Look at that. Oh my. Yeah, it's going right for the gold. Watch out, lady! Finally, we get her head. What is it, Ariel? It's a little mermaid. She doesn't look too happy though. Maybe because she's getting attacked by a snake. I'm gonna move this around here. Oh shoot. Uh-oh, it broke. Sorry. I told you you shouldn't let me do this. Okay. There you go. Ooh, she's seen eye to eye with a snake. So I know this must be her right arm because her hand is going the right way. See how it fits here. Reaching out towards the snake. Looks like another little snake tail. So all these baby snakes or something wrapped around the mama. This looks like a weapon of some sort. Oh yeah, ew, it's a bloody sword. Whoa, some more hair. She has some long hair. Where does this go? Oh, I see it. Okay, so I thought this was her look, like really high hairline. <laughs> but here's the rest of it. She has a part. <laughs> I really should probably have my glasses on. Oh, whoa, it was like a magnet. It went shunk. Hmm, this part I think I know. A little more coverage here, lady. Okay, let's see. Yep, fit right in there. Another sword or dagger or something. More snakes. Dude, I can't find where any of these parts go. Okay, I think I found one. Oh, here's her other arm. Wow, she's really tall. Where does this go? Not sure this goes here. That looks good. Do you have instructions? Because these parts are so small, I have no idea where they're gonna go. I get to cheat. Thank you. This is an alternate hand and her other arm. I don't know where those snakes go or all these weapons. All right, I'm just gonna take everything out. Okay, that's it. I think I need to sit down for this one. Okay, folks, so I had to go get my glasses. I just could not see the detailed pieces here. So this is the snake head to this snake right here. Okay, I got one. There's one snake. Oh, haha! -ha, I found it. Looks like it's been bitten off. Yay, I got it. Oh, that was such a challenge to get all these snake parts in. The sheath goes on the hip. Here we go, it goes like this, I see it. This also has to go into here. There we go. Whew. Got that part. Uh, okay, so it says there's a cape, but I didn't see a cape. Ah, it was hiding from me. Yeah, she needs to cover up a little bit here. So I'm gonna put this on her. How cool is this? Probably have to take her head off. Yep, you do. Okay, oh my gosh, it's so fragile. Here goes the cape. Okay, so I finally got the cape on. That was such a chore. It was really tricky kept popping off. So I'm gonna put her head carefully back on. Oh, very, very, very careful with this. All right, so I'll have to mess with the cape later. It's not really on great, it's good enough. But as I was looking at these instructions, I noticed I forgot something. The mouth has venom coming out of it. Ah, there it is, it's underneath. See, I would have thrown this out like little slobber venom stuff. There's one. This is kind of creepy because 
where we live, there are rattlesnakes. And so this makes me think of the rattlesnakes that are around our area. And uh, ugh, seeing this makes me scared. But DT catches them in our yard. We've had a couple in our yard and he's crazy like that. You can check out our video of him actually catching it. Big old rattlesnake. There we go. Okay, last venom in. I guess this is the venom and this is just drool or spit, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's gross. So I guess you can pose this cape however you want. I'm gonna let DT mess with it because I don't want it to break. Okay, so here she is. Who is she? She is called Red Sonia. I don't know who Red Sonia is, but um, she's very cool looking. I love the red details because that is my favorite color. Her outfit's a bit skimpy, but hey, if you got it, flaunt it, I guess. So we have like this huge base. It has like this snake dragon thing. And there's a bunch of skull heads around. Around the bottom here, there's like this ancient ruins type thing. And she's standing on what looks to be like rock and then there's like little snakes so it looks like this snake has been in a battle i mean he is full of blood and cuts he's got big wounds all over he's about ready to take a bite out of her butt with his venom fangs not good for her so the statue is full of details you can see like all the scales the color is vibrant i love the red of course her boots with the fur the paint job on this guy is really cool. It's like shiny, and then the scales kind of have a metallic look to them. So I see blues and greens, and of course the red blood. And then these other snakes are kind of a more dull look. They're not as shiny. And I think that's to make this guy really pop. Her hair looks like Ariel gone bad girl. She's got like an armor bikini top. Okay, I don't think that's gonna do much. She has no protection on the rest of her body except for muscles. So her gloves look like real leather, along with her, um, I noticed her sheath too. But right now she's in this really cold pose. She looks like she's mid-action, like she's gonna chop the snake's head off. Okay, so we have a couple of options here. We have two sword blades and two hands, so we have to connect them, and then we'll put, we'll change them out. Oh, shit. Okay, so got the swords in. So the arm attaches at the arm bracelet, like the top of it. So pull that out. Try this one. Ooh, much bigger. Bloody sword, yes. Since the sword is in her hand, we have to take this out because why would she have this in here? So yeah, it looks like she's already cut him up a little bit with that sword. So this bloody sword sure makes a statement here. I mean, I think more so than this. So it definitely makes this statue taller with that sword. So if you don't have space for that, it could be a problem. Now I'm gonna switch to the other sword and see what it looks like. Here we go. Oh, I see how it's different. I was like, how is this different? That looks exactly the same. She's actually pointing the sword at the mouth. This is definitely better. Makes way more of a statement, um, but it's really your preference. So this is really fun putting and challenging putting this together. I have a deep appreciation for DT and all his statue building and collecting because it's not that easy. But I really like this statue. I love that it shows a woman fighting and being like a warrior. Besides that, it's uh, very colorful and dynamic. So I really, really like it.
I don't know where he's going to put it. I don't know exactly what comic book this is from. It looks like it belongs with like Conan or Thor or some, something from ancient times. So I hope you enjoyed it and next time I'll be building something maybe a little simpler hopefully. So if you have any questions about my statue building or the character or anything else, just uh, leave it in the comments below and DT will get back to you. Okay, till next time. Bye. Hey, DT. Done with your girl.